And we're live, and welcome to the stream. Yes, welcome. Okay. So, uh, my name is Pali uh, Dualu. I'm from the Make Code team, and I'm going to be streaming Minecraft today. And with me, we have... Nell. And Nell. In third grade. Nell in third grade, and uh, we're using Nell's school account to do the Minecraft coding. Uh, so, if your school is using Office 365, uh, you should have Minecraft enabled. If you don't have Minecraft enabled, Minecraft Education, uh, there is a link attached to this video where you can figure out how to turn on a Minecraft for your school. Uh, today we're going to show you actually how to play with friends on Minecraft. Uh, some, uh, some other kids from your school, you can uh, do online gaming and also we're going to do a tutorial. Okay. Oh, it's like our video froze. No, All right. Let's go. Uh, well, I'm going to create a new world, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's create a new world. Uh, for this, for this uh, tutorial, we're going to need a real world. So don't, don't do a flat one. Just create a new one and new. make sure you're in creative. Yeah. Peaceful, yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe all day. Mm. Yeah. What does old do? I don't know. Um, yeah, short going in it. Yeah, that's useful. And it's always day? Activate cheese, always day. And, uh, Me. and then what we're going to do, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do hosting. Okay. Uh, hold on, because, uh, let me see. So if you see the button there, instead of just play, you're going to click host, and that will allow friends from your classroom or your school to join you. So what you're going to see here is that if we press escape, it will, uh, yeah. it will show you a code and then you have to tell your friends to type in that code. So you have a, um, so when you play, when you click play, you're, it's going to say join world and then, and then when it says that, you, you just click the things that your friend tells you. So it's ladder. No, it's rail. 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 So we have uh, Zeli, our assistant here, and she's uh, she's typing in rail, and then we need panda, and then we want some rails even more, and then we want a llama. Hold on. No, I'm gonna go debug the what's going on there. You are no. You have to escape. You have to. So sorry, we are having technical difficulties. We will get back to you in a few. So moments. in the in the start screen, you're gonna create join world, and now you enter the code. So rail, yes, panda. Mm -hmm. No, nope, Billy, that's a cake. Got it clear. And then you press confirm and I confirm again. Okay, and then I think I might have to um say would you No, it should just work. Uh it takes a little bit, but uh again if you're in the same school and you're running the same version of Minecraft and you can see here that oh. DH2 joined. Oh. Uh so oh it's super God. fun. Uh you can actually meet uh and do classroom activities together in Minecraft EDU uh, using your school account. Oh, I didn't get a choose. All right, so now let's do some coding. Okay, Zilly. Okay, and which one do we want to use? Microsoft use Make Code. And we're going to do the Super Digger tutorial. Let's blocks. click on blocks. So you know you can go build stuff. And Zeli, you well, Zeli can also do coding in the world. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that's a crazy mod. Uh, it's super cool. It's like super digging. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. okay. Add on player walk event to run code when the player walks. Okay. So. 
Yeah, so that's a cool event. Uh, it's slightly easier to use than the chat command because you don't have to type anything. And it'll run code whenever you walk. So if you swim or fly, that won't work. But if you walk, it'll do something. And you can always change it. To and you can fly. change it, actually, to a whole bunch of different things. If you can swim in lava. Swim in lava. I didn't know you <laughs> did that, but I guess you can. It's just if you want to die, it can probably save you. Use fill to fill the air one block around you. Blocks? Fill. Oh. And again, if you remember how fill works, we have to give two coordinates, Minecraft coordinates, to distances around the player. Can I use the hint? <coughs> you can use the hint. Oh, negative one, negative one, negative one, 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 one. Hmm. Let's zoom in a bit. So, so we... All right, that's good. Uh, so the tilde location, that means around the player. So you're going to want to be minus one, and that's east, west, and then minus one, that's up, down. And then you're gonna be minus one, north, north, south, and then plus one. So just one. Yeah. Okay. And one up, okay. Okay. and one north, south. So you're basically clearing around you a box of, and again, if we put, so what's gonna happen right now? They're gonna be dropped in. In grass, let's try. It. There's a little issue. And walk. Okay. Oh. No, no. <laughs> I guess I must fly now. Try walking. I'm gonna. Oh, oh! I think we have a bug in our code. <laughs> Why are you trying to kill me? Because this is funny. <laughs> I'm ruining a hot tub. Can you make that? All right, let's, let's go back to the code. Let's try okay. to figure out. So oh, we're not doing anything unless we walk. Oh, there we walk. We walked. Okay, something's wrong. Now let's go back to coding. I know this is fun. I just got to jump to a flat surface. I'm killing it. I'm killing it. Okay, we're good. I'm okay. Okay, back to code. Okay. Yeah, this is a... Okay, so what's going on here? We are... Let's read the instructions again. Oh, wait. To fill oh, wait. It with air. With air. That's right. Let's try again. <laughs> Let's see what it does. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. No. Uh -oh. uh oh. What's going on here? Um, it's sort of just making me go down. It wants to kill me. You so imagine what? you're walking, and every time you're walking, you're taking everything around, around you, me. including under your feet. Uh oh. I'm trying to go somewhere. All right. Okay, I don't like this spot. I never liked it. Let's go back to the code. Nail, please. Well, look how beautiful. Yeah. I just killed the rainforest. Okay, now. Well, something's going on here. It, it isn't right. Okay, what else? Go to Minecraft. And We've already done that. We've done that. that. Don't fall in the void. If you walk long enough, you'll fall in the vo void. Instead of running the code when the player walks, run it when it's flying. Oh, I never knew that. That's that makes sense. That means you won't fall. Fall. Wait. Fly. So we can actually run code not just when walking, but when flying. Let's click next. Go to my okay. As you say, go to Minecraft and fly around. Block should disappear behind you. No more falling into the void. Oh, huh. that's good. Who would have known? Let's try flying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was an, that was e. mm, it's not working. You sure you, lost, you started the code? Oh, no. Press C and hit play. Let's go. You're too high to go in anything. Oh, yeah. It eats the thing, but it's like... Uh-oh. It's, it's a bit hard to see that we're going through things. So let's keep going with the tutorial. So look. Breaking some stuff here. Okay, I'm good. Okay, next, what should we need? Modified. Values in fill to increase the volume of air you create. Mm -hmm. Oh, you go straight for the hint. Yeah. You could have tried. All right. So how would we uh, put more air around us? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if we already have one, just add bigger numbers. Yeah. 
Let's do that. Let's try five. It's it's my lucky number. Lucky number five. Let's go. Lucky five today. For Every meow. day I have a different number. Today it's five. I just feel five coming to me. It's five today. Oh. It's yeah. a five kind of a day. So you're going to create lots of blocks. So it's going to be like five on one side and then five on the other side. Yeah. Let's try this thing. Oh, that's much better. Let's go dig down into the world. I mean, now we can go. I think we can go through everything we want. No, well, no, because I have to fly. Yeah, but then fly. You can do shift to go down. Oh, dude, I just did this and... Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, do shift. Shift will go down as well. Ooh. Uh oh, I'm oh, scared. Dog. Oh, scared. Go back up, go back up. So, yeah, that's super digger. <gasps> it lets you dig well, kind of a super. Oh, look, I've got stairs. Super oh. mall. Oh yeah, you kind of build your own stairs. That's so cool. All right, and that actually concludes the coding session for today. Let's go back to the code and see what we did. Uh oh. And then I'll let you play now. I just got to. Try, I'm trying to go up. Uh, of course, uh, this this is a pretty destructive uh, mod. So uh, don't go into a world where you build some cool stuff because uh, it might it might have some dire consequences. And before you grief someone else's world, you know better ask their permission, right? And All right, I people are going to be sad. Proof. Imagine because you build a castle and then you do super digger in it. No more castle. So you see this big mountain over there? Yeah. I'm going to break it all to show that it can destruct anything you want. Let's get this. Oh, you're going to crash in that. No. Oh. Oh. Well, that super was. Super digger. Hey, it's supposed to be sand. This is not sand. It's like a temple type of thing. Oh. Huh. Oh, there you go. You got some kind of a helicopter pad now. All right. Now let's go back to coding, and then we'll wrap it up. Okay. I just have to clear this out. Okay. So that's the code for today. And let's see if we're done with our tutorial. Yes, we've done. This is actually quite easy, like compared to the aquarium, which didn't really get posted. But yeah. All right. So well, that concludes our session. Thank you, everyone, for listening, and see you tomorrow. Yep.